Hey guys, what's up to start of season two of the new Cassie you Night know, Chrome, as you can see, we've got a transfer budget of, um, where has it gone? It did tell me a second ago where it was. The budget is 257 uh, million pounds. I've got some quite huge objectives to uh, achieve this season, especially in the Champions League. As you can see, the Continental Success one is to reach the final. It's a low priority, so if we don't achieve that this season, is isn't the end of the world, but obviously uh, the board wants us to do that, considering last season we won the Carabao Cup, we won the FA Cup, and the Premier League, we're looking to go for those trophies again. Obviously, with more games coming uh, this season in the Champions League, we can possibly sacrifice the Carabao Cup, to be honest, and probably just sign up with the second team more than we did last season. But we are going to get into some pretty big signings. We're going to sign a new centre back, we're going to uh, buy a new cam, and uh, possibly a brand new right back. This is not the team, this is just players that have uh, obviously been switched around. I think Joe Wood was usually play there. We have uh, obviously Botman there, but also have uh, Kieran Shapiro at right back, which is one new signings. They're going to get replaced. And possibly Alice Maximan could also get replaced and drop down to the bench there. And maybe we'll saw Aiden Hazard as that six months period, uh, six month period he came in for, or five month period, whatever it was, uh, when we brought him in January. It was uh, quite successful. He played some uh, great games for us. But obviously, he's now 32, gone down, gone down to an 80 rating. And we've got other players that we need to bring through, like uh, Anthony Gordon, who played well last season. But I'm going to stop off in here. Let's get into the signings and show you what the team looks like after we've brought all the um, huge players we, got, uh, we need to bring in to challenge for the Premier League again. The FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, and most importantly, see how far we can go in the Champions League. Okay, well, before we get into our first game of the season, which is the FA Community Shield up against Manchester United, I want to run, uh, wanted to run you through the transfers we made. Don't worry about these, these were just four eight North American ejects if we had. We have learned out, Drew White, we've learned out our uh, homegrown talent here to Brighton for a season. Cardola has been sold, uh, Watts has been sold, Hayden has been sold, Jamal Lewis, Jamal Lasalle's, uh, Jacob Murphy, Dan Byrne, and Fabian Shear have been sold. And we've brought in Mickey van der Ven, we've brought in Mason Mount, Cody Gapo is going to be converted into a left wing for us. We've also brought uh, Aiden Edemedetal, sorry, into the team from Real Madrid to partner with Joe Gomez in the defence and occasionally bring in Botman. We could play it for at the back as well with him. But now uh, 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 the signings we have made to the team. Let's get into this game at Wembley Stadium up against the team that obviously finished second in the Premier League considering we won all the um, domestic trophies. Uh, they're the team that we have to face. Uh, but starting Fabian Shear and Harry Maguire at defence. That's a very slow back line. Martinez is playing right back. I don't think that's Sandra Martinez. They do have Latoro Martinez. They've got Ozzy Men up front again. And uh, Ahmad Diallo played that. They, they actually offered a swap for Fabian Shear. But due to us having armor on uh, Jeremy Doku, we don't actually need another winger. So let's get into this one up against Man United. And I kind of tempted to start St. Maximan in this one over Gakpo. No, nope, we'll start Gakpo. See what, he, see what we can have as an instant start. Uh, Mason Mark's going to play Cam. And we're going to bring on Joe Willick. And I turn to Kieran Trippier, as you can see, he's gone up to an 87. So I don't think we need to bring in Mason and Mason Mar uh, Trent Alexander Arnold this season. Because I think uh, making too many massive signings is going to just ruin the vibe of the team a little bit. As you can see, we've uh, replaced three players already. So replacing four this season would kind of be unrealistic. And he is the captain, and he's 87 rated. It's an only thing downgrade. Only um, bad side to him is his pace. But other than that, he's a great right back. So getting to this game up against Manchester United. And hopefully pick up a win in this uh, community issue. So hopefully uh, lift our first silverware this season. Obviously it doesn't really count for much, but it's, it'll be nice to win it. What I did yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but the other day. As I'm in now. Fidiola. United are playing well against us so far. And Pope makes a great save. This is a night, Aussie men. And that, no, come on, man. That ain't a foul. That's a fair challenge. And Bruno Fernandes stood over the free kick. Obviously Fabian Shear playing against us is going to be interesting in this game and Bruno from range. I need to see the replay of that. Because from that distance, Pope shouldn't be getting beaten, let's be honest. That's a, that's a, decent, that's a fair distance for a free kick. The keeper should be saving. And it's like a deflection off the wall. No, it didn't. It's just a perfect free kick. I mean, Pope actually could save that. A dive, kind of. He didn't use his other hand. If he used his left hand there, he could have saved it. Oh, already one or down. Nine minutes in. And Cody Gapo. I can to emulate a little bit of Alan St. Maximan in our team. Has he done it? No, he hasn't. Kevin Trapp makes a save. Not Aussie, man. Marcus Rashford, but Joe Gomez, incredible defending. Not armour on. Joe Linton. 
back here to Almiron. Almiron looking for Mason Mount. And Mason Mount has found the back of the net. And it's well out to go in. Not going to lie, but Mason Mount, the new signing, grabs his first goal for Newcastle in the community shield, assisted by Miguel Almiron, who is now 82 rated. A player that I'm hoping we can keep in this uh, team for a long while because I like him. It's actually great to use in FIFA. It's a great pass to by Joe Linton. Gets it out to Almiron. And the header glances, glances away from Trap. Maybe he expects this defender to get there. I'm not sure who it is. Is it Harry Maguire? I'm not sure. One of the two defenders didn't get there and Mason Mount levels it up. Titles and this is going going for the Champions League. The Sanders have made great defending there by Gomez again though. Oh, gap, I love that. Now, Alexander Isaac running to that gap. Is it now? Can he win this header? Can he beat him to the header? Russia, Trippier, great challenge. And another great challenge shot up against Russia, however, gives away a throw in. I'm sure it's up into Russia's hands there. Russia now. Oh, Gomez going in for that, okay. Not sure what I played it over. Ozzy Man, okay, we could have got there. I pressed the challenge button, but it didn't make a challenge. I don't, I don't deserve this lead, man. I've had two chances and scored them both. I think I've had three chances, actually, but still. They've had two good chances. I've had the free kick in this. Ah, uh, Pope, we've got to save that, Bran. We've got to save that. Honestly, I was thinking about replacing Pope. He played well last season, picked up 11 clean sheets in the Prem. And there was a goalkeeper of the tournament, or the goalkeeper of the season in the team. Despite finishing second in the uh, clean sheets shot. Is there? Jolinton smashed up from range. Jolinton forces a save in Kevin Trapp. Is that now? Okay. Amaron. Amaron now gets the space to hit one. Isaac. Look at three, doesn't. Oh, can we win? Oh, we're somehow handballed it then. United are going to get a ball to Rashford here. I think they're going to try and break her. But Jolinton wins the ball back. Amaron now. Amaron, lovely bit of skill. Can he find a finish? No, he can't. Kevin Trapp makes a great save. And Cody Gapo from long range. Cody Gapo. Denied by Kevin Trapp. Is that a decent debut? Okay, I thought we could get that now, Fred. He's in now. Surely not, man. Surely not. Hey, why does this. Oh. I just hate when you switch from one defender to the other, the other defender. Just, I don't know what, they just leave. Like, why is he going over to the fullback? And again, he's marking the player out on the, on the wing there. But why is he not marking Bruno Fernandes? He's right in front of our goal. He's like, shoot. Oh, why is it straight out of keeper, man? That's a, great, that's a great bit of play as well. That's a score there. I'm wrong. Thank you for Mason Mount. Could have got his second goal for as he does. Okay, we've got 12 minutes. Sure, I don't know. I can't take off Amaron. I need to bring on Enrique. Enrique's going on. Alisson the Isaac is not people are doing anything in this game. It's a great run by Mason Mount and a great strike near post. Let's bring on Enrique and uh, go for the equaliser and push it to penalties or uh, extra time, whatever it's going to go to. I've been out in my errors in their turning. Drew Gomez got defending. It's going to be a frantic finale to this match. Mason Mount bringing the ball forward. Mason Mount now. Cutting inside. Mason Mount. Can he cut it back and get it across? Who is it? It's Gamores. What's he doing? Why has he messed it up? All he had to do was hit it. Trooper Toro tried to pass it to him, but he's going passes isn't soft because. He's let me down there yet again. Gomez, great defending, but yeah, the game's going to be over. Gonna hit it long, and we've lost the community shield final. It doesn't really matter much, but we don't deserve to lose this game. We're already done. Let's show you that we don't deserve to lose this by the stats. Look at that, man.
Gabriel here where the first game of the Premier League season has had a disappointing loss against Man United and the community sure we're going to put up behind us. We're not going to focus on it too much. We're going to get into this game against Everton at home and hopefully start the season off with a win. Obviously, last season we started off with, of, uh, off with a loss. Hopefully, that isn't going to happen this time against Everton, a team that we should be beating. Let's get into this one. I can see uh, Alan St. Maximum is going to return to the left one because I think just his pace and agility is a better suit for my play style. Cody Gapo was all right. He played quite well in that game, but... Now and again, you just need the pace and agility of a player like St. Maximan just to allow you to uh, work the ball around more and uh, get in behind as you saw with the likes of Almer in the game. But let's get into this one up against Everton and hopefully uh, start the season off with a win. Oh, I thought we had that with Tony there. Very good defending. Love that. Mart. What have we got, Martins? Chance to. Oh, is he onside? He is inside. Just about. He's kept inside. Alexander Isaac. First chance of the season. Okay. I wish centre back stayed in the centre, man. So I wish. Right, look, look. This game is so stupid, man. How did that almost happen? Why does centre backs go to full back when your full back is not in that position? They should stay in the centre. There should be a thing that you could turn on, like you know, drift wide, you know, cover, like cover full back or not cover full back. You know what I mean? Rooney Gamara, so. Bruno Gamaras. Under pressure, Bruno Gamaras rises to the occasion, puts the ball in the back of the net. With an incredible strike from range. After we almost concede that one injury to the stupidity of this game, we get blessed by the uh, greatness of this game at times. An incredible strike, nothing Pinford can do about that. Bruno Gamaras makes it 1 0. And we're going to see it again from this angle. Absolute perfection. Kowski in there. We can link up at fullback, obviously, as well. Vladimir Sufal. I'll just open that. Our defence our defense should be a lot better than our attack. Yeah, how's that not going to play? And again, the f I don't want to swear. We're not going to watch the goal celebration because we don't need to. I want to I want to point out what's wrong with this game. What's wrong with just the AI in FIFA? Like, watch this. Okay, how's that not going to play to begin with? But... Look where Joe Gomez is. Look where Moise Aquino is, right? Granted, Militao's there, but Militao is not marking the front of him, right? Where should Joe Gomez be? He should be a lot closer to Moise Aquino. He shouldn't be there. What's he going to do there? It's not on that player there. That should be Joe Linton, who's there, or the, full, or the winger that comes back. You know what I mean? Like, Joe Gomez should not be sending on the edge of the box in that position. Militao also... Should be moving over to Moise Keane right now. He should be going after Moise Keane right there. It's obvious the pass is coming towards him. It's obvious what they're going to do. He should be coming over. And where's he going? He's going backwards. He's going backwards. And then somehow Post beating at the near post. So we're to drop the uh, whip for the team down on the defence. And it's hard driving the ball forward here. That's how I could have played him through there. Unfortunately, I didn't see it in time. Joe Linton. Hit that. Joe Linton. There we go. It's not the most consistent from range, but when he scores them, they're usually big goals in great games. And this has been a game where we've completely dominated Everton. I haven't really done much in this one. They got fortunate with the goal they just got. We got the other end. We scored a goal not that long later. Bruno Gamarez got the goal for the first one. Assist Jolinton this time round. That's another long shot. And possibly Pope could have saved that. Not Pope, Pickford could have saved that. But luckily for us, he didn't. And we're now uh, back in the lead. And we have another chance there, possibly. It's him out. Going to bring on Willock in a second. Mason Mount, right into Amaron. Amaron back. Mason Mount, first time over the bar. Jolinton, love that pass. Alison to Isaac. Oh, why is he not shooting? How has he died? Tokowski to get across in time. Brendan Gamaras. Pass is meant for me somehow. First time we actually get it to him in the end. And Pope, uh, why do I keep saying Pope? Pickford, because they both start with P. Pickford just should be saving that lad. We're gonna bring on Willock in a second. Mount leads the game with a goal. Let's to see it. It's been a great signing so far. Not really been the great eyes of Petsen to be. It's been more of a finisher so far, but it's been good in the field at times. The pass is originally was meant for Mount, then meant for Isaac, but it goes to Isaac, then Mount. And Pickford should be saving that to be fair, but Mount makes, uh, gets the goal. And um, we're now for one up here in this game. Tony, love that. 
look at the control defending. That forward looking for Anthony Gordon from Everton man. Can he make an impact here? Anthony Gordon, I didn't want I did not do a rainbow flick. I promise you I did not do a rainbow flick. Okay, that's surely handball. Ah, as if after the game's done. Referee, the game is done. If it was me, you would have blown the whistle by now. Should be a good side to thought. Now Doku just get the ball out. It's a 3-1 victory. Deserve more goals than uh, deserve to concede. But that is in the exact questions are being asked of him right now because he hasn't scored in two games. And he's not really getting any chances either. Okay, for this game up against uh, Southampton here. Warsaw won their first game of the season. We're going to go with a slightly rotated team. As you can see, Joe, when it comes into the team, Cody Gapo back down the left with uh, St. Maximan on the bench. We've uh, put Enrique up front and Jeremy Doku down the right just uh, just because I want to see if Enrique can get the job done up front on his own. Obviously, Alisson de Isaac hasn't got a goal in their first two games they've played. So we're up against a pretty decent Southampton team. They've got Shepard and Corbin Rama. They've got Mohamed Salisu, Shalatakar. They've brought Jordan Teze. They've got uh, Bazuno in goal. And uh, let's get into this one up against uh, Southampton at St. Mary Stadium. Hopefully, get a second win of the season. And um, yeah, prove that we're here to fight for the title once again and we're not going to flop um, and uh, let the pressure get to us. So how good of a defender has been for us. And the can we get into that gap? Okay, the pass is not going to Enrique, it's going to gap over, hits it. And forces a save from Bazuno. No, it doesn't. It goes over. Okay. Hope Bazuno saved that. Well, we are working on uh, Gappo's agility. Feel what it can. Could a Gappo from range? Could a Gappo? Okay, that's great. That is just. There's no way to describe that other than great. Imagine scoring your first goal for Newcastle, and that is like uh, your first goal for a club. Not in your debut, obviously. It wasn't his debut, but his first goal in his second appearance, and he scores this. That's a great shot from Cody Gappo. Nothing Bazuna can do about it. And we're now one up here. Let's to see it. I think Southampton so far haven't had the most possession. Doku are Parad for defending there. Probably shouldn't have tried that to be honest, but it would look good if it came off. And the tower, probably never thought he'd end up playing in Southampton at one point. Obviously playing for Newcastle. Oh, it all has. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure why it hasn't switched him, but interesting. Adam Militao, win that, please. Adam Militao, there we go. There's his first goal for Newcastle from a corner to put us back in the lead against Southampton, a game that we don't deserve to be conceding on the goal. And similar to Everton, similar to the Man United game, we've, we've been the better team by a mile, but we're just getting well, screwed over by the, the game more than anything. It's a great cross from uh, Bruno Gamarge, and the final so corner is probably going to take for us this season, but... Uh, Adam Militao wins the header there and puts it in the back of the net. A Brazilian to a Brazilian in between two players, a Metro there, and Salasu wins the header and puts it past Bazunu. Minigo Maric looking for Endelike, wins the header. See Endelike, despite being a lot shorter than Alisson and Isaac, wins headers because his jumping stat is 90 something. Jimmy Doku now, show yes, a look. And to Gapo, this time he doesn't mess it up. Well, Rodrigo is showing to Man United, that's a huge transfer for them. But Cody Gap progressed his second goal of the game. Should have had a third earlier on, but or it should have been the second earlier, and this should have been a third. But Cody Gapo well, makes it through last time. Jeremy Doku does well there to get the ball into Willock. It's a great through ball. And with pass assistance turned on, by the way, Willock is not playing that pass. He's playing that forward to Doku, and we're not going to get this opportunity to score. But that's me actually getting the pass I want to play. Uh, for once, it's actually working for me. I've since I turned it off. Going Trippier, as with the shoot to be going for that Pope great save. But honestly, why wasn't Trippier the man going for that? Why was it Joe Gomez? Get that clear. Okay, Pope, that's yours. Okay, why has he punched it? Why in the world has he punched it? Thank you for the block, whoever that was. And then Gamar hits the ball. Okay, Doku. I don't mean Doku now. Being chased down by Salisto, I believe it is. It's all over him. Jeremy Doku. And the DK, that should be goal. Finally, we get a goal with one of our strikers in this episode. Obviously, not the most impressive goal by Enrique, but um, he scores a goal nonetheless. And um, 
I also don't think that's going to Man United. If it's, in the if it's before the transfer deadline, then we're going to play it uh, to end the episode. But if it's after it, we might not. Look, a great run, great uh, control as well. Gets whatever time of the game, scores a simple goal and makes it 4 1. As I see it. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Well, three minutes of stoppage time. Quentin Timber, great pass. Oh, it's so massive, man. So massive, man, not looking for Enrique. He almost won that. Well, Quentin Timber. Oh, I have you not putting a challenge around Tez, even though I told you to do so. Problem solved for now. Counter attacking, very much an option. Kate Gomez. Oh, is it Militao? Actually, it's Militao. It's another game, 4 1 victory. Still not happy if I conceded, but we win the game. Get a fun game, so it is uh, up against Man United. Had a chance to get revenge. They're playing Martin, both Martinez is in the team. They're not playing uh, all three Martinez is in the team. But for this game, do I wanna, who do I want on the bench? Um, I don't know what we need. Medina can get a chance of a timber. And I'll put it, oh yeah, we'll put in Mickey van der Ven. He'll make his impact next episode, probably, because we don't have the chance to really use him in this one. And Mickey van der Ven will play in uh, next episode. Obviously, he's going to be in the second team alongside uh, Sam Botman. Going to get into this one up against Man United. team. obviously beat us in the Carabao Cup. And again, we deserve to win. Uh, so we can get revenge against them. And pick up the win here at home at St. James's Park. To win the episode off in the best way possible. Bruno Fernandes. Well, okay. Got to save us such moments. Hen. Oh my god, man. Trippier, well, there we go. I hate the challenges, man, because I put in a challenge behind Matt. where the player was, you know what I mean? That was meant for Amaron, but to be fair, this stop is wrong. Shillington. What? And no matter what, that's staying in the episode. Because what was that? I don't know, looking for Isaac. Isaac gets it down. Cody Gapo wasn't my plan, but I'm going to run with it. I'm going to whip that. Over here to Amaron, who on the header. Wasn't far away. Go and Tierney. Have that from you. Tierney driving the ball. Gets it here. To Cody Gapo. Whipping a good cross. Looking for Isaac. But his heading is just awful. Find me if I'm sure. I'm not going to lie. Mason Mount. Kevin, Kevin Trapp could save. Marcus Rashford. The strength to hang on to it. Can I trip it? I told it to Kerr. I told him to. Oh my. I pressed clear twice. I pressed clearance twice. Two attempts he had at clearing and he didn't do either. There and then there and then there again. And what is that? Their first shot of the goal in the game and that is it and the score. Perfectly able to make every single challenge. Effective challenge. Oh, we're on. Three here to Isaac. You better score. Oh, now you want to score, Isaac. Now you want to score. No, you're not celebrating. You're not celebrating. You don't deserve to celebrate. Now you want to make the run and, and score a goal. It took them scoring a goal for you to actually do something. It hasn't saved you yet, lad. You, you haven't been saved by this goal. I'm going to set the play, I'm trying to set the secure and turn it, there we go. There's an ease up now. I should get involved in the game for once. Okay, oh, he's offside, I swear he wasn't offside. He was ahead of gone so far. Thank you. Ah, Isaac. I've put so much behind it. Didn't need to put that much behind it, man. Have your handball there, Jolinton. Okay. I won the ball back anyway. I'm wrong. Mount. Gamaros gets out of his feet. It's here and it's blocked by Fabian Scheer again. Honestly, Fabian Schoen has got a bounty on his head right now. I don't know. Why would it bring my centre-back across? Why would it bring my centre-back across when I press R1 there? Why did not bring him to fielder? Good challenge, but of course it falls straight back to one of their players. What was that, Joe Linton? Okay, we win the ball back. 
be ideal for the counter. Mess him up. If I add us under ease up, but of course he's not going to get ease. Does he even try? Oh, let's hit that. Mason Mount. If in doubt, just, just release your anger and smash it from range. That's what's happened. The Mason Mount has himself another goal and been an incredible signing so far. Honestly, my patience for Isaac is running off. He's running thin right now. He's literally started this season off so badly. Like, it's not even like last season where he actually did all right at the start of the season. He did, you know what I mean? He scored. This season has just been... It's just been poor. I'm going to bring on St. Maxim on. Oh, I did get in these passes through, man. Good defending name at the top. I haven't got to that one, though. If you give a red breath, if you give a red... There's a pen! No, that ain't... No, 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 no. How's that a pen? Mate, you've got to show me. You've got to show me. You've got to show me. You've got to show me a better angle than that. Oh my god, how is that? It's literally... How am I that unfortunate, man? They're going to score this pen as well, aren't they? They're going to score it. Marcus Rashford. Pope could save the legs. Just drive on the ball here, Mason Mount. Oh, but of course, the really really just pushed it. Defensive. One tap on the shoulder and it stopped. Enrique. The DK score. Oh my god, I'm so. My look. I get I saved the penalty, but still. The fact that I haven't scored either one of those. Doing a man. The second I press X, should be playing the pass. Let's score here. Pope, what a save. Get that, get that out. What is going on? Corner, man. I hate. If, why does this happen? It's not happened in any other FIFA. You know what I mean? Where, like, when you put in a change in those positions, it always goes out for a corner. I'm going to score here, aren't I? Middle not. And the Making the difference at the other end. Can he go and make the difference at the other? Nelike, just run, lad. Oh, of course, you're a British. He just gets his body across him and blocks him there. In real life, you know what happened there? Nelike running at full speed and uh, Barisha doing that. He's falling. He's going down. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Of course, of course you do. There we go. Finally get the option. Some messy man now. What is. No, Casemiro just glitched. No, Casemiro literally. That boy's going across him. That boy's going, going behind him into the path of a player in the centre. No. Pip got to make a... I want to scream. I want to scream at the top of my lungs. I've never been this, this more annoyed at FIFA in my life. Honestly, I haven't. That ball is going behind Casemiro and into the path of whoever it was in the centre and, and we're scoring. And they got the other end. Just uh, dr uh, like literally walk past both of them by fenders and put in a perfect challenge on both of them. I should have had the ball. Well, my players just aren't moving. Like, even when, I, when I'm telling them to move on the ball, they aren't doing anything. And so now I've gone from winning this game 2 1 to losing it 3 2. And it's out for throwing. Oh my god. Head loss, man. Head loss. Okay, maybe we're not going to to get to that, are we? Oh, we should have had that. Where's the challenge? Again, just teasing. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, so end of the episode here, as you can see, we've got a couple of strikers here listed in the transfer because, honestly, added on the Isaac. Yes, he had an incredible season last season, but I think with a striker more suited to my style, like a Timo Werner, you know, a Gonzalo Ramos, maybe a Jonathan David, a Noah Okafor, we could be much more successful in our attacks. Obviously, um, I feel like Colonel Mawani is, he obviously would be pretty good, but again, agility 87 balance is 83. His dribbling isn't bad, he probably could be quite decent as well. And Colonel Mawani, Patrick Schicker player that we know is an incredible striker from our time using him in the uh, Leverkusen and Kermit, when he was absolutely insane. But honestly, I've all these uh, signings I'm tempted to make, 
it's Timo Werner. Or Gonzalo Ramos at the top of my list. Uh, those two strikers are the ones I'm at, uh, more tempted to buy. Because, I don't know, if you guys want me to keep Addison the Isaac up until maybe January, just to give him a couple more, like, the rest of the season to perform. After what you've seen in this episode, do you think he can work himself back to the level he was at last season? Obviously, this season so far, he hasn't really done anything. He scored that one goal, but again, it wasn't really, obviously, a uh, goal that meant much in the end, because the Muslim I went on to lose that game. But, um... Yeah, if we sell Isaac, obviously we will bring in quite a lot of money, which will be would have a, what was it, like a hundred and something million. So we could even bring in a better striker than the players we've listed. But I think those strikers are the more like safe, not safe, but realistic options. You know what I mean? Instead of buying like a Kylian Mbappe, you know, someone like that, or Erling Haaland, going for Timo Werner could be great for us. Or Gonzalo Ramos at the two that I think would be great. Obviously, let me know in the comments below. You think we should buy? I'll let you see the stats of both players uh, real quickly. I said they're both the same rating. Gonzalo Ramos is younger. That's the only uh, difference. And um, again, to my Werner here, you can see obviously a lot of pace, decent dribbling, uh, great finishing as well. And would be a great striker for us. Obviously, it isn't always always about the rating. One thing I've always always uh, wanted to say in my videos: it's never about the rating of the players. It's about their actual ability. And uh, despite them only being 80th rated, we know they would be great strikers. So let me know in the comments below if we should sell Alice and the Isaac because I don't know if it was just this episode in general that just stressed me out. The fact like the game just went against me so much. like It just felt like defensively my team were just not capable of doing anything, if you know what I mean. There just wasn't defenders, if you know what I mean. They like, weren't professional footballers playing in defence. They were just, I don't know, like shopkeepers who were just walked onto the pitch to play defence in a Premier League game. The fact that we're just stepping off defenders so much, coming out to the full positions when they don't need to, leaving massive gaps open in the centre of a place just to stand in and get the ball and shoot. And, um, yeah, I'm going to stop waffling now. I'm going to stop ranting as well. But, uh, yeah, let me know what we should do in terms of the striking position. Maybe we should keep Alexander Ease out till January, see if he can recover his form. Or should we just take the um, take the hit, sell him now, bring in a different striker of Timo Werner, Gonzalo Ramos, or maybe one of the others, so if you think they would be better suited. I think Colour 1 1 is at least likely to join due to his height. Being obviously six foot two, obviously Pat to the Sheik is six foot three as well. But Pat to the Sheik, I don't know something about him. I just feel like it would be great for us as well. And kind of warning, obviously he might be, he might be good as well. But um, yeah, let me know what we should do. If we should bring in Werner, Gonzalo Ramos, Jonathan David, Jonathan David, or any other options that you can see there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications up, miss any videos. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments below about the decision to make a uh, so Alexander Isaac or keep Isaac. Let me know. And thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.